Good morning. Do I look like a gremlin? Because I feel like a gremlin. Today we're gonna do a little writing vlog. I am behind on my goal to finish draft two of Wild Ivy by the end of March. Today is, I don't know, I'll put the date on the screen, but I need to write a lot more words. I don't know. First thing I'm gonna do is actually put on makeup and get ready because that way I feel like a real person who can actually accomplish things. First things first, let's put on some makeup. I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I do this because, because I am. I'm not saying it's a smart decision, I'm just saying it's what I'm gonna do. I will attempt very hard not to fall down the YouTube rabbit hole and actually write something, just watch something while I'm getting ready. Hopefully that actually happens. <laughs> Clearly this is already a horrible idea because it's been eight minutes and the only thing I've done is try and pick a video to watch. So I need to just, I just need to pick something and start getting ready because I'm wasting time. Do my eyes look chaotic because I feel chaotic? I'm gonna title this a chaotic writing vlog because it's, it's, it's 8.30 in the morning and I already feel so chaotic. 12 seconds later. Okay, I'm officially a human being. A human being who should probably brush her hair, but a human being nonetheless. I really do need to brush my hair. Okay, hold on. There you go, hair brushed. Um, I am feeling hungry this morning, so I'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast. No promises that it will be healthy, because I'm not feeling it today, and also we don't have a lot of groceries, so. There's a dog in my front yard, and it is not my dog. Don't poop in my front yard. That's just rude. I really don't want to write today. I do. I do want to write today. I'm just procrastinating because that's what I do. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to do a writing sprint before I eat. No, I'm not. I'm going to eat. This is such a chaotic vlog. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to go eat food. I'll be right back. I have returned winded from walking up the stairs because of who I am as a person. I made like a Costco Jimmy Dean. That looks so appetizing. <laughs> wow. This is like a croissant microwave sandwich. Again, I didn't say breakfast would be healthy today. I'm gonna light my candle. Today we have a citrus avocado smoothie candle from Five Below because only the finer things in life in this household. It honestly smells like nothing. I wish it smelled like a citrus avocado smoothie because that sounds delightful, but it doesn't smell like anything. I think I just like having fire on my desk because it's something to look at and be distracted by. And today, today I feel like I want that. I'm gonna jump into a 25 minute writing sprint before I can convince myself otherwise. So let's do that now. Quick aside before I start though, I am working on chapter 25 of my Regency romance novel that I call Wild Ivy. Um, 25 out of 35 chapters plus an epilogue, so 36 chapters. I should be around chapter 30 today, but I'm not. So if I wanted to get to chapter 30 today, I would need to write like somewhere between 8,000 and 10,000 words. And let me tell you something, never say never, but that's probably not gonna happen today. <laughs> I think it will be a great success if I write 5,000 words. I think it'll be a good success if I write 2,000 words, so. Maybe we just set the goal at finishing, I'm about to finish chapter 25. So finish chapter 25, maybe finish chapter 26. And then if I can start 27, I'll be really happy. I'm gonna finish chapter 25 and we will go from there. Quick note, in the middle of this writing sprint, I've written like a <laughs> hundred words, not even 63, that's insulting. I've written 63 words and my only thought is that I have used eyes to describe literally everything for 25 chapters straight and in revisions that's something I'm gonna have to change and that hurts so much because I have done nothing but been like his eyes did this, his eyes did this, her eyes did this. It's a first draft. It's a second draft but it's really a first draft and if you want more explanation about that you can watch my other videos but Jeez, it's something I'm gonna have to fix in revision. Another thing, yet another thing I'm gonna have to fix in revision. Everything's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, back to the writing sprint. That's going clearly so well. I've just spent the past two minutes staring at the screen 
There's absolutely nothing happening. It's going so well. <laughs> Some days it's just like, it's like pulling teeth. It's like sitting there at the keyboard and just bleeding out. I don't think enough author tubers talk about like the real, the real real of how hard it is to write. I mean, we like joke about it and we make memes and stuff, but sometimes you're just staring at the screen and like willing words to come and they're just not there. And it's so frustrating because I want to write. Like I'm showing up, I'm here at the keyboard. I know exactly what's supposed to happen. I have my outline, I like, but I just can't get the words to come. And that's so frustrating. And I know that there's like a million different things I could do to try and beat writer's block. I could I could skip this chapter and come back to it, but I don't I don't want to. <laughs> and I don't want to turn to another story and I don't want to use one of my creative writing block exercises, which genuinely usually work for me, but right now I just like I just so badly want to finish this chapter and it's not happening. I don't know what to do. Why is this so hard? You know what's hard? Starting to write a book. But you know what's harder? Finishing a book. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I guess there's nothing to do but write. The one thing that I can't seem to do right now. How's that for an encouraging writing vlog? So I'm gonna end the video here. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break. I'm a mess today. <laughs> I have relocated to the couch in the office. Slight change of, not scenery, because I'm in the same room, but just sitting cross-legged and taking a minute. Taking a minute to myself. To myself and you, I guess, because you're also here. <laughs> taking a minute to sit with my notebook and just kind of I guess brain dump, maybe journal. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet. I think I just need to, to get all of my feelings and thoughts out. I don't normally do this, but for a while I was trying to do the artist's way, which is like morning pages. If you haven't heard of that, Julia Cameron is someone who wrote this very popular book called The Artist's Way, all about how to like sustain the artist's life. And in it, she talks about doing morning pages where every single morning you write, I think it's five, like five full handwritten pages without stopping, no matter what, do it every day. I did that for a little bit. It is definitely an indulgence in time that I did not have at that point in my life. Maybe I will do it again sometime, but my thought was just, maybe I will sit here and try to do basically morning pages, like a, a stream of consciousness right until I have nothing left to say type of thing. I think I'm feeling this creative block because of stress. And I don't know, maybe some type of like anxiety about this story ending. I don't know yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna write like crazy and see if I can uncover what's happening here. I'm about a page down, but I think I may have uncovered something, which is I'm starting a new job and it's a nine to five and it is an hour commute either way. I'm going to be working slash away from home for like 10 hours a day. Um, and that's going to take a massive chunk of my time and my life away from me. I'm very thankful for this job. I've been unemployed for a tiny bit now and that was really stressful but it was also really good for my creativity and for this YouTube channel but I'm about to get back to work and be working a lot honestly so maybe that has something to do with it like discouragement. If you don't know I 
have an anxiety disorder. So I also think that having anxiety about starting a new job and about this commute, I think that is kind of affecting my mental state in general. And that might be contributing to this block. I also am not diagnosed with anything in particular, but I am more exhausted than the average person. Um, my doctors have kind of, I don't know how to say this, they have tried to identify why that might be true and not really done a whole lot for me other than you should eat better, you should exercise more, um, your iron levels are low, like things that may be true, but let's be honest, I'm a fairly healthy person. Granted, I don't think I exercise as much as I should, but what American does? <laughs> anyway, it's neither here nor there. I guess the point is I am a lot more tired than a normal person all of the time. And now that I am going to be working more slash I've already started training and I have been working more, I think that the anxiety and the exhaustion is impacting my creative life. And to be honest with you, I don't know what to do about it. I think there's also just this general discomfort with finishing this story that's been with me for so long. I've been working on this novel since 2019. It's 2024. I have been working on this novel for just about five years. And while I do have a first draft finished, it's nothing like this draft. So really this is its own first draft. And I think I'm just getting discouraged about finishing it. Even though I have a full outline, even though I'm so close, I think that I'm just discouraged thinking it's never going to happen. Which is dumb because I know that it is. And I'm close and I'm working on it more than I have in the past, gosh, three years. I shouldn't feel this anxiety about not finishing it, but yeah. I'm gonna journal some more. I think I need to get more things out, but those are my thoughts. So I spent the rest of that like journaling time kind of just hyping myself up basically. <laughs> As you can see, it worked a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit better. I think my soul feels lighter. I was really just talking about how if I stop now or I lose steam, then people are never gonna get to meet these characters. And I think that would be a real shame. I think that these two have a lot to teach the world. I think that one of the most important themes of the book is that it's okay to be who you are and not be ashamed of the events that made you who you are. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who need to hear that. I know that I needed to hear that um, for a long time. Wow, I might cry. This really is a chaotic blog. <laughs> I just think it's important that I keep writing because I need people to read this book and to meet these characters and to understand. And now I have this community on YouTube, 135 strong currently, who want me to finish this book, who want to see the process, who want to see the ups and downs. Welcome to a vlog about the downs. <laughs> it's really important that this story gets told and I have to be the one who tells it. So this book won't get written if I'm not the one to write it. I think maybe I just needed a minute <laughs> to like realign myself with this book and make sure that, that we're all on the same page. Pun very much intended there. Oh, I really did make myself cry for a minute. So let's finish this chapter and then let's start the next. Let's just keep going because these, these characters need me and this draft has to get finished in order for me to move on to the next one and make it better. Writing a book is really hard, but you and I can do hard things. Okay, I'm gonna go write a book now. 34 hard one words later, I finally finished chapter 25. That was so hard. But honestly, like, it was very rewarding. I feel, I feel relieved, honestly. Like, 
yeah, I feel relieved. I needed that. On to chapter 26, which is kind of a reactionary chapter following they just had their first kiss. So I don't think it should be too long. Famous last words, am I right? But uh, before I can convince myself not to, we're just going to jump into it. See what happens. No word sprint, no timer, just writing. I have laid down because I don't know why, because it's more comfortable. But I have written 730 words. I am well into the start of the first scene of chapter 26. So it's going well, but I'm tired. I really just... I'm learning to listen to my body, so I'm going to take a brief break and I will get back to it as soon as I can. Right now it is 10.30, so um, I want to try to get back to it by 11. No promises, but that's what I'm going to try and do. But first we rest. Welcome back. My laptop is absolutely screaming at me, so if you hear that, that is the fan. I am sorry. I have taken my little break, had some lunch, now I'm kind of uploading the footage from this vlog so far and doing kind of a rough cut in a little bit. I'm gonna start writing again, but I'm enjoying the peacefulness of right now. Listening back to what I recorded earlier about this block that I'm feeling, it's helping me kind of reorganize my thoughts as I'm listening to it again. A little bit on that break, I wrote probably a hundred more words, um, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of this video edit and then I will get back to writing in just a bit. We are back. Um, it is 2.45 pretty much. The backs under my eyes are as ever, immense. I'm gonna dive back into writing. Again, if you can hear that noise, it is the fan in my laptop struggling for life. I'm gonna finish up this first scene in chapter 26 and I'll check back in with you in a minute. But first, the puppy just walked in, so let's say hi. <laughs> You're too short. Story of our lives, am I right? You say hi, I am Digby. I am almost four years old, and I am handsome. Any other facts? He said, get away from me, no more kisses. Now, um, enjoy some B-roll of me looking down and typing, because I, I could angle the camera, but I'm, I'm not going to. Take your hydration break, whether you're writing or watching this YouTube video or whatever you're doing. Take a hydration break. Your body will thank you. Comment down below if you hydrated. The water emoji. I'll give you a thumbs up and some praise for being a good person. Good people drink water. Evil people were just dehydrated. Like that's just the fact of life. It has been about a half hour since I talked to you last and I wrote 631 words in that time. And I finished up this uh, scene in chapter 26. There's one more scene in this chapter and then that should be it. So yeah, so far today I've written 1,448 words. Pretty good for a day where I had a mental breakdown at the beginning. Honestly. <laughs> I'm up to, let's see, 54,019 words in the manuscript. Um, this will probably end up being a about 70,000, 75,000, somewhere in that range. So I'm doing okay, but I have about 10 days to write 15,000 words. I'm not sure it will happen, but it can happen. I have returned to the desk for one final writing sprint today. Um, I'm probably gonna do about 25 minutes. If I feel inspired, I will do more, but I don't wanna push myself. Um, I feel like I accomplished a good amount today despite the craziness of this morning. So 
I am proud of myself. I think the whole lesson in all of this is just that some days are going to be harder than other days and pushing through can be very difficult. And some days I am able to push through and some days I'm just not and that's okay. We're all different humans, we're all different bodies and brains with our own struggles and triumphs and I think writing a book is going to be a different experience for everybody. For me, I have good days and I have bad days. Today started as a bad day, ended up being a good day. I mean, I got just about 2,000 words done with this last writing sprint. Maybe I'll reach even over that. But all in all, I am proud of myself for showing up. I am proud of myself for taking a moment to step back and evaluate what the bigger issues were with my creative process so that I could understand what it is I needed to provide for myself to move forward. And I am really thankful for this YouTube channel, for giving me uh, a reason to start writing today and to give me a space where I can talk to a camera, to you guys, to you personally, you watching this, and get my thoughts across to kind of realign myself with why I'm doing this. So thank you for being here, for watching this video. Genuinely, like, this means so much to me. If you are on your own creative journey, I'm proud of you for pushing through on the hard days. I know personally just how hard it can be. You are so brave and so capable and so awesome for doing all of this, truly. Proud of you. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and it's totally free. If you wanna see more writing vlogs or writing tip videos, you can subscribe. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you so much. Bye. My dog just walked in, if you heard that dramatic sigh. I can't even, I can't even talk. What's outside? What's more interesting outside than right here? I think dog hair in my nose. Does that happen to anybody else with dogs?